here for another smash and box and uh, this is a continuation of our comparison between the two mouse this is the rival series uh, steel series mouse versus our logitech 402 okay so similar to what we've done with the logitech we've actually gonna need to download the steel series engine i can include the uh, link on the description so we've already downloaded that uh, but to give you an idea, this is the SteelSeries website where you have a bunch of uh, mouse available for you to choose from entry to high range uh, mouse. Uh, what we're going to do a review today is the Rival 100. Uh, it's actually it's 110 series and we saw this price online. Quite expensive, but I think you can get a cheaper price. Okay, so we've downloaded the um, engine already for the Steel Series. And one way to check if you got a legit or fake mouse is that if it's not detected, then I'm sorry, that's fake. But if it's detected by the application, then you're good to go. So let's click on Rival 110. And this is the user interface. Okay. Uh, honestly, I, I like the interface of Logitech, but uh, as long as it works, then it's fine. So what you're going to see here is that this has uh, six programmable buttons. Okay, versus the Logitech uh, 402, which has eight, while this one has uh, six only. Okay, however, in terms of DPI, guys, the Steel Series can go as far as my God, 7,200 versus the Logitech, which is only uh, 3,200 a while ago. Okay. It also has sensitivity, um, which can range from 800 up to, I think this will go as far as 7,000 if I'm not mistaken. 7,200 is the same, right? So you can do uh, some testing on which sensitivity works for you best. Um, some uh, polling rate here, see that? This gives you an idea when you scroll, when you move your mouse, whether you want it smooth or you still want it. You know, still a bit, I don't know what the right term for this, but uh, it's angle spanning, they call it. Okay, so this one has six buttons only compared to the eight buttons of our Logitech 402. The other advantage here is that it has an RGB light. Okay, the lighting's here. Okay, it's RGB, not unlike with four, uh, the Ford, uh, 402, we only have blue. So you can actually customize this. It has steady, color shift, multi-color uh, multi breed, single color breed, disable illumination. Okay, let's do color shift and let's change it to, let's start with, let's say blue, close that and you're going to see it applies right away. So it's going to color shift, let's change it. Okay, um, I think between the two mouse, it's basically more of your preference, right? This has a different angle of slope altogether. Buttons, if the uh, um, DPI shift buttons is quite important for you, then go for G402 and you don't mind about the RGB. But if you like the RGB as well as higher DPIs, you might want to see and review the SteelSeries uh, mouse. Okay, so again, um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is another smash unbox.